Quiz four. <clears throat> the purpose of accommodation bill is A. To finance actual purchase or sale of goods. B. To facilitate trade transmission. C. When both parties are in need of funds. D. None of the above. The right answer would be 1. C. It is when both parties are in need of funds. <clears throat> Next. Grover draws a bill on Bhatia for rupees 50,000 for mutual accommodation in the ratio 3 is to 2. Bhatia accepted the bill. Grover got it discounted for 47,500. How much money should Grover remit to Bhatia? A. 28,500 B. 19,000 C. 30,000 and D. 20,000 now Grover has drawn a bill on Bhatia for 50,000. Ratio is 3 is to 2. Bhatia has accepted the bill. Grover got it discounted for 47,500. So 47,500 into 2 by 5 is the ratio. 3 is to 2. 3 to Grover and 2 to Bhatia. So 2 fifth of 47,500 would be remitted. By Grover to Bhatia. This amount would be 19,000. Answer should be 2B 19,000. <coughs> 3. A draws a bill for 15,000 which is accepted by B. They agree to share the proceeds in the ratio 3 is to 2. A discounts the bill with the bank at 10% per annum, maturity 2 months. What amount will be remitted by A to B after discounting the bill? A 6,000, B 7,500, C 5,900 and D 7,375. The ratio is again 3 is to 2. Discounted at the rate of 10% for 2 months. So it's 15,000. Let's see the amount of discount. 10% per annum for 2 months. Therefore the amount of discount would be 250. The amount of discount would be 250. Therefore, proceeds would be 14, 15,000 minus 250 equal to 14,750. 14,750 is shared in the ratio 3 is to 2. B is shared is 2, 2 by 5. 3 is to 2. So, 3 fifth and 2 fifth. This amount would be five thousand nine hundred. So the correct answer should be three C three C five thousand nine hundred. Fourth one A draws a bill on B for rupees nine thousand for mutual accommodation in the ratio two is to one. A got it discounted at 8,460, remitted one third of the proceeds to B. At the time of maturity, how much amount should A remit to B so that B can pay off the bill? A, 6,000, B, 5,760, C, 5,840 and D, 6,020. Amount of the bill, 9,000. A gets it discounted for 8,460. Remits one third of the proceeds 
So basically, 6,000 and 3,000 is the amount enjoyed inclusive of the discount. At the time of maturity, A must remit 6,000 to B so that B can pay off the bill. 4A should be the correct answer. A drew an accommodation bill on B for 3 months. Proceeds were to be shared equally. A got the bill discounted at 12% per annum and remitted the proceeds of 48,500 to B. The total amount of the bill was A. 1 lakh, B. 97,000, C. 1 lakh 10,000, and D. 98,000. This will need a little bit of working. A drew an accommodation bill on B for 3 months. Proceeds were shared equally. A got the bill discounted at 12% and then remitted for 48,500. What is the total amount of the bill? Let the total amount of the bill be X. So then what happens? If the total amount of the bill is X, the proceeds which were received is X minus 12% of X. For 3 months. This is 3x by 100 is the amount of discount. So x minus 3x by 100 is equal to 97x by 100 is the total proceeds. So the total bill is x, discount is 3x by 100, therefore 97x is the total proceeds. Half of 97x, 97x by 100, half of 96x, since they share the proceeds equally, half of it is equal to 48,500, 48,500. Or 97x by 100 is equal to 97,000 or x is equal to 1 black. Therefore, the right answer should be a 5a 1 black. <coughs> Kirti draws on Kushbu a bill for rupees 60,000 on one foot for two months. Kushbu accepts the bill, sends it to Kirti, gets it discounted for 58,800. Kirti immediately remits 19,600 to Kushbu. On the due date, Kirti, being unable to remit the amount due, accepts a bill for rupees 84,000 for two months, which is discounted by Kushbu for 82,200. Kushbu sends 14,800 to Kirti out of the same. How much discount will be borne by Kirti at the time of 14,800 remittance? A. 1,200 B. 1,800 C. 1,100 and D. 800 Kirti and Kushbu, we should just see the ratio in which they enjoy the proceeds. Kirti sends 19,600 out of 58,800. Therefore, the balance is retained by Kirti, amount being. Thirty-nine thousand two hundred. So Kirti has thirty-nine thousand two hundred. Kushbu nineteen thousand six hundred. The ratio is two is to one. Therefore, the discount can also, assuming that the sharing of the proceeds is maintained in this ratio, the amount of discount would be two total discount 84000 minus 82200 
that is 1800 is the discount. So this would be shared by the discount which is borne by Kirti would be two third of 18, 1800. Two third of 1800. That would be 1200. The correct answer should be 6A 1200. <clears throat>